What up, folks? This is Augie of Your Two Cents. Today we are looking at Joe Bon, White Musk for Men. And it says here in the back of the box, uh, all the power, but not overpowering. A clean, long-lasting scent that lets you be you. Subtle, easygoing, unmistakably male, comfortable, confident, and convincing. Feel the power. Well, I am feeling the power in a second here. Uh, I like this one. I like it. One little caveat, uh, but let me go ahead and get it on first. Uh, I have a few things to do today, uh, and like they said, it's fairly subtle, but it does seem to last. So we'll give one there. We'll give one there. Excuse me for my undressed nature. Give one there. Give another one because that. There we go. And another one there. And another one there. 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 Okay. So, the good old white musk, it's nice. Uh, I wore it yesterday, wore this shirt. Uh, it seemed to hold on to the cloth a little well. Uh, a little well. Pretty well. And uh, smelled it this morning. I uh, just had this on for a little bit. I don't know. I'm weird about clothes. I like laundry. Why do it if you don't have to? Let's get the numbers. This came out in 1992. Part of the... Uh, what I call the clean revolution of the early 90s, uh, when Alberto Morales was just doing all his, you know, it, it just changed, to me it changed the game, you know, things uh, became clean. Uh, and I guess this was part of it, probably on the lower end of the price spectrum. Uh, it gets a 3.93 out of 5, with 175 votes cast on Fragrantica, so a fairly well-liked scent. Uh, top note, citrus, mint, thyme, thyme in a bottle. Uh, Granny Smith Apple, Melon, uh, Mids, Cloves, Geranium, Base, Musk. Well, to me, I get the citrus, I get the mint, no apple, granny or otherwise, maybe something herbal. It's a little soapy-ish, but I wouldn't say soap. Yeah. The mint is nice. I mean, it, it kind of mends, melds well uh, into this and kind of brightens you up a little bit and then with that melon note it just it's a good little combo and to be honest when I read the notes I uh, just looked them up just now I was really surprised about the clove uh, part I didn't pick up any clove uh, but what I did pick up was that it was basically a fairly clean scent the mint dives down but there's always that cleanness through it and yeah, really nice. I mean, it, it, kind of like what their little description is. It's subtle. Uh, it seemed like longevity. It, it uh, you know, four hour mark seems to pretty well stop projecting at all, and it's just pretty much a skin scent. But a real pleasant one, uh, real close to the skin, and uh, then yeah, it kind of goes into that musk. But to me, it seems a little more. I mean, when I say musk, it's like a clean. Musk, uh, a very nice smell. Uh, you know, it, it just stays clean throughout and uh, pleasant. And even at eight hours, it seemed, even though this is very subtle, it did seem like I was catching, uh, you know, closer whiffs than just being right up on me. It seemed like I could kind of get it still, uh, you know, a little bit away. So I like the scent. Uh, the only thing I would say is to me, it is more, uh, even though the notes, would kind of connotate spring, which I'm sure you're fine doing that. Uh, I would say more so summer. It just, to me, seems a little more uh, fun. Uh, that being said, it could be very easily used uh, in a work setting uh, at the office. Uh, even though it said very much a male scent, I thought, you know, could be unisex. Uh, I did say, or I thought initially it was like there must be a T-note in there, but I think it's the mint and the, uh, maybe it is the thyme, and the other things mixing. But it's just, like I say, very clean along those lines. Uh, according to Fragrantica 2, there's only like six people, but five or six people. But they said it was like Tom Ford Musk Pure. So I don't know if you like that scent or know it. I never even heard of it, to be honest. And uh, uh, But if you're really hooked on that, uh, you might want to give this a try. And save yourself some money if you were dousing yourself uh, daily. Uh, it, and it is kind of a dowser. I was thinking of this more, too, about the Jovan fragrances. I did look at some pretty heavy hitters with the uh, Intense Oud and the Secret Amber. Uh, but like this one, 
and uh, Sex Appeal and the original Musk. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I miss the body spray thing altogether, but uh, I don't know how folks uh, sprayed that stuff on. But this seems like to be the missing link. You can kind of do uh, a bottle of this and then just maybe use it a little more excessively. Or if it starts dying down, put a little more on. And uh, there you are, freshness in, in this case. But yeah, with the Secret Amber and the Intense Oud, that one seems, I don't know, I don't know if I'd spray a lot of those because they are pretty uh, heavy duty. So, I hope this helps. Uh, you know, it's a very reasonable price. It does seem more accessible as far as that, uh, you know, your big box uh, department stores uh, it does seem to be on the shelf. Uh, and yeah, I, I think it was less than, once again, $15. So, I would say this one... Yeah, it's, it's really uh, nothing groundbreaking, but really does capture the essence of clean. So uh, I would probably wear it more in summer, and maybe it performs a little bit better then, too, with the heat. So as usual, folks, there'll be more of these to come, and uh, please be kind.